Hey there, welcome to Dirt Bike Channel. Today we are gonna be working on this project. This is Connor's bike, say hello Connor. Hey. Connor's 14 and he's been riding this KTM uh, 85SX. One of the reasons why I got the 85s is because you can upgrade and go to a bigger wheel set. So when they, you get a small wheel, this is a 16 inch front rear wheel and a 14 inch rear, right Connor? Yeah. And what we're gonna do, uh, work on today over the next couple of days is actually going to a bigger wheel set. So we'll have a 19 inch front wheel and a 16 inch rear wheel um, in order to kind of bridge the gap a little bit before we move him to a full size bike. So there's a few things that are involved with this. Obviously you need a wheel set, uh, you need tires, but then in addition to that, there's a few other things that we need. We need a brake disc, so we've got a brake disc for the front and rear. I'm building an entire new set. We're going with a new chain. Obviously, we're gonna need um, uh, rim locks for that. Uh, we're going with a, another sprocket. Um, we've got, you know, these are our, these are our um, rim tapes in here. And then tubes, because we need those. And then here's our front sprocket. So there's a, there's a lot, and I've got some, just some bolts in here. So there's a lot of kind of moving pieces to this. Not super cheap, but it's better than having to buy an entirely new dirt bike. Um, this bike will probably need to be rebuilt fairly soon and we might, we might even punch this thing out a little bit and turn it into, you know, like even a 100. We'll just kind of have to see. But uh, these bikes, this has been my favorite bike that we've had so far for Connor. Um, we put a desert tank on this thing. We put a kickstand on it. Uh, it's got a bump seat. Uh, we've got full wrap hand guards on here because we do a lot of off-road trail riding. But uh, let's kind of just put this thing together. It's gonna maybe take us a couple of afternoons to do it, but uh, we'll show you the finished product and a little bit along the way. Well, through the magic of film editing, you can see that we've been able to actually complete this project and move this up to a big wheel edition. And I'm pretty excited about this and I kind of wanted to get some of Connor's thoughts. So you've been on this bike for like a year and a half, Connor. Like what, what has been your, what, what are some of your thoughts about it? What have you liked about riding it? Um, I really like, I really liked, well, I liked how it had bigger wheels than the 65, and I don't know, this, the, more I rid, the more I rode it, the more I got really comfortable on it, and now I just really like it all around. Yeah, because you came from a YZ65, and uh, you'd ridden a KTM 65 and then a YZ65, and then moving up to this bike with a bigger motor and bigger wheels and bigger frame, what did you notice about how it, how it reacted on the trails? Was it easier, more stable? What, yeah. what was the what was your overall impression? Yeah, it was more stable, like I could hit bigger rocks. Felt like I could do better like enduro obstacles and yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, and now that we've got the big wheel set on this that we're two inches higher, we've got a 19 inch front wheel and a, and a 16 inch rear wheel. He's only two inches off of basically like a full size enduro bike as far as, as, far as the wheels go. And that's gonna help everything from getting over obstacles to uh, hitting bumps in the trail, hitting rocks in the trail, square edges. And also I think it'll be better even for, for motocross. Um, I think we waited maybe just a little bit too long for this. I've been busy and had other things on my mind. How tall are you? You said like about 5'4", almost? Something like that. He's almost 5'4", somewhere right around there. <clears throat> By the time he gets to 5'6", five, 5'7", five, he'll be ready for a full-size bike. So this is going to be a stopgap solution for us for the next year or so. And that's kind of what, that, that's what the reason why I bought the 85, the KTM, is we could, we could upgrade the bike by going to a larger wheel set without buying a whole, a whole new bike. That's not something that you can do with some of the other, some of the other brands out there. So that's, that's been really nice. And I've got a second 85 for my younger son, Case, who's 11. Um, but we're pretty excited about this. We went with the KKE uh, racing wheels. One of the reasons, the biggest reason why I did that is because they had a complete wheel set for the front and rear. And uh, so I'm excited about that. We then went with a Tusk uh, rear brake rotor, a primary drive, um, the uh, sprocket, it's a 49 tooth sprocket. We also went with a brand new um, 13 tooth front sprocket. So we've got brand new sprockets, front and rear, brand new chain, uh, brand new brake disc on the front and the rear, new hubs, new wheels, new tires, heavy duty uh, tubes in this thing. So this bike is ready to go. Um, right after we get done with this video, we're gonna go out and change the gear oil on this thing because it's about time to change it. But uh, we're pretty excited, so what do you, what, what are you most excited for about this bike now that we've upgraded it? Uh, just like what I said with the 65, being able to hit bigger things and not getting knocked off the trail. And yeah. Cool. 
Well, this has been a fun project. Um, it's been fun to come out here and just spend a little bit of time with Connor and actually do this. And so it's gonna be super exciting. And like I said before, maybe uh, later this year, we'll probably need to just rebuild this motor. It's got about 77 hours on it. I know that sounds like a lot, but a lot of the time we're riding single track and not super high RPM. So we may, um, I'll probably just re, I'll probably put a piston in this really soon and just leave it in the stock configuration. And then maybe on the next time we go through, maybe we would bore it out and uh, try to give it a little bit more power. But we're running electron carburetor on this thing. This bike runs fairly lean the way I've got it tuned. My other son's bike runs a little bit richer. I think I probably need to split the difference and bring them closer in alignment. Richen this one up a touch and lean the other one out. Uh, but that's what I've got for you guys today. If you wanna support this channel, one of the best ways you can do it is use the links to Rocky Mountain ATV. We bought most of this stuff from Rocky Mountain ATV, uh, ATV except for the wheels. They did not have a complete wheel set front and rear when I, when I was looking for this at Rocky Mountain ATV, but they had all the other parts. Uh, and that's what we went with. So use my links to Rocky Mountain ATV by going to dirtbikechannel.com uh, and then there's a link up there. You can also use the links down in the video description. We're gonna go uh, change the gear oil on this sucker and get it ready for Connor to get out there and bust it. So thanks so much for watching and leave a single track.